Hello everyone, welcome to the BioClick QBB BioClick community meeting. Uh, we are not able to organize the meeting for last few weeks uh, because of difficulty of the time zone and several reasons. Uh, so let's hope we can continue from today. Okay. Uh, in this meeting, we will discuss about some new issues we fixed and some tasks we are working on right now. Uh, we are trying to release the 0 0.9.0 for a couple of times, but it is still in, in RC. Uh, we are planning to release an RC uh, within this week. Uh, we, are, we are saying we, we are going to release it within this week for a couple of weeks. Uh, let's uh, let's see if we are able to release it within uh, within actually this week. So, uh, in last few days, we fixed a couple of important issues uh, on is fixed energy. Uh, we were uh, uh, for, since 0 0.8.0 since last release. We are not getting. We are not getting actual analytics. Ex analytics. Uh, so we are. We don't know how much user currently we have for this bug. But uh, hope. Uh, thanks. Um, but right now it's uh, solved and we'll be able to see uh, how much users, how many people is using QDB right now uh, since 0.9.0. And another, there was another issue with Postgres. Uh, yeah, we are not passing the law, uh, enable entities uh, flag to Postgres databases. Uh, so uh, it was always uh, default values, which is uh, which is true and by the dash dash b equal to zero. But right now, if user gives a, in a in a disables in a analytics or it changes the dash dash b equal to something else, it will be forwarded to uh, Postgres. Uh, there was another issue with MongoDB. Uh, thanks to uh, thanks to this guy who reported it and solved it. Uh, himself uh, right now it is also solved uh, hopefully it will be added to next release as well uh, we are on another issue uh, currently uh, the deprecated versions will, will be left behind from operator we won't process that version but if there are clone jobs uh, we also skip that um, back a schedule uh, for the deprecated DB version from the from this from the next release uh, is uh, the peer we worked the peer are in the in the bill part uh, we updated some docs where git repo is used uh, other volume uh, we used um, config map uh, in place of git repo so user won't be confused uh, then a custom user and password uh, is now supported in MySQL. Uh, before it was uh, used uh, root as um, by username, but from now on, user will be able to uh, forward the, the database, uh, forward its um, for a custom user he created. Uh, uh, we now support providing resources to monitor container as well. So user will be uh, able to provide custom resources to monitoring containers. Uh, and then a backup scheduler. We had problem with backup scheduler. When operator restarts, uh, the backup scheduler was not starting. Um, yeah, but uh, it was not a, uh, it was not the this is all did not uh, happen in 0 0.8.0 it just was an issue of 0 0.9.0 so it is fixed now and we won't uh, face this issue in uh, a 0 0.9.0 stable release uh, we know uh, there was an important field in 0. Point, uh, in our previous release which is do not pause if do not pause was true if you user won't be able to delete it uh, from our next release, uh, we have changed this CRD spec to termination policy. Now the termination policy is do not terminate. But if the uh, we will, uh, this is not uh, this is duplicated. If there is do not policy is true, it will automatically default it to termination policy. Uh, 
but from our 0 0.10.0, this uh, do not cause if they will be vanished. So it is suggested for user to uh, change the specs uh, in from 0 0.9.0 from this use. Uh, there was an issue in charts where uh, mirroring and validating webhook was not uh, enabled by default. We had to uh, we had to set values through a command line. But from this release, uh, the charts values are uh, set to default. So um, we don't have to provide any uh, flag to enable it. But if users want to disable it, they can provide it through flags and uh, set the values to false. Uh, we have also updated some uh, doc uh, regarding uh, volunteers monitoring. Um, right now we're working on some big um, tasks where we have, uh, Shruta is working on Redis, uh, Redis clusters and um, Imbruj is working on Restic, uh, trying to re uh, use Restic as snapshot uh, for snapshot for kubedb and Nahid is working on user management we have all we are already merged app binding we already care some uh, we have already cleared some uh, here in uh, in our repositories to, to support app binding and by using app binding user, user will be able to uh, manage their user management and uh, we, are try, we will uh, support this uh, uh, support this feature uh, from 0 0.10.0 we are also getting some proposals with, uh, from user end uh, users are asking to provide service account name uh, through pod template uh, right now we don't uh, many databases don't need any uh, rba rules uh, on the uh, postgres does but still user wants to provide service account them uh, through CRD, which is good, I must say. Uh, if user want to restrict uh, their, uh, their developers or DevOps from doing any uh, for security reasons, they can provide service account name. We have to just add an extra field in spec and provide a uh, <clears throat> forward it to the stateful sets, nothing else to happen. So we are hopeful to uh, add this support in, uh, in next, uh, in previous future releases, I guess. Uh, we are also have a request for ASL support of Postgres build. Uh, we have planned for this, but uh, the, because of different various reasons, we are unable to support it yet, but uh, we have planned for this in future. And there is another proposal for Elasticsearch where NTA, where user wants to add anti pod anti affinity in spec dot uh, topology. Uh, this is actually a very reasonable uh, proposal, I must say. Uh, we are we are planning for this too. We will add this in future as well. So that's the ongoing task and proposals we have right now, and this is the few issues we have fixed. Uh, we are trying to release a RC within a weekend, so let's see what happens. If anyone has any questions, uh, please go ahead. I guess uh, uh, no one has any question. So this is the end of our QBB by limiting. Uh, I hope you will see you guys soon in the next one. Thanks for being with us.